Welcome to Roland Academy Support Tutorials Series. Today's lesson will be on working with LEC and VersaWorks folding carton workflow. We've broken down today's lesson to four parts. Required tools, assigning special spot color for creasing and die cutting lines, setting the job in VersaWorks for creasing, printing, and die cutting with Versa UV LEC printers, and sending the job to LEC printer slash cutter. Required tools. Following tools will be required for creasing and die cutting. One, creasing tool. Two, 60 degree cutting blade. Please note, these tools are not included with the LEC 330 or 300 and must be ordered separately from your dealer or directly from Roland's online store, www.rolanddgastore.com. LEC 540, however, includes the 60 degree blade and a different creasing tool. And here are the pictures of the tools. Assigning special spot colors for creasing and die cutting lines. Before we start, we must install the VersaWorks Watch Library in Illustrator. If you have VersaWorks in your computer, follow these steps to install the Swatch Libraries pre-configured with special spot colors in Adobe Illustrator. Launch Windows Explorer and navigate to C Drive. Then Program Files. Roland VersaWorks folder, then Swatch folder, then Illustrator folder. Select all files in this folder, right click with the mouse, select copy. Now navigate to C Drive, Program Files, Adobe folder, Adobe Illustrator CS5 folder, Preset folder, English US folder, then Swatches folder. Now right click on your mouse, select Paste. Launch Adobe Illustrator and navigate to Window, Swatch Libraries, Roland VersaWorks to display the Roland VersaWorks Swatch Library. If you do not have VersaWorks, Follow these steps to create the swatches. In Illustrator, select New Swatch from the Swatch Palette. Under Color Type, select Spot Color. Then select any color that you prefer. Then under Swatch Name, type Cut Contour. Notice how the letter C's are capitalized. Swatch color names are case sensitive. Please type the names exactly as shown. Click OK and notice how you just created a new cut contour spot color. Please follow the same procedure to create the perf cut contour spot color. Now let's open up a file. Notice how this file has three layers, artwork, score, and perf cut. We strongly recommend having crease and die line objects organized in distinct layers for easier manipulations and visualization. Depending on the printing features that are used, some objects will have to be isolated and saved in a separate file. Having them organized in distinct layers per special feature will greatly facilitate this process. Crease lines will be always required to be saved as a separate file as the cutting tool must be replaced on the printer. Now we apply the cut contour and perf cut contour swatch to the stroke of crease lines and die lines respectively. Please note the crease and die lines must be vector objects and placed on top of any other object. Perf cut contour alternates the cutting pressure between strong and normal. The strong pressure should be carefully calibrated to cut through the substrate while leaving small tabs that are cut with normal pressure preventing the finished object from falling from the substrate. 
cut contours is used for creasing as this special color controls the movement of the cutter while applying a constant pressure. Now we will save the file by each layer. We must save the files in three distinct layers, with one layer per file. In order to do this, we must make the other layers invisible in Illustrator. So in this case, artwork will be saved as a CMYK data. Then repeat the process for the other two layers. Notice how these three files are saved. The CMYK data, crease cut data, and perf cut data. Now run your Roland VersaWorks and we're going to add the files. Just drag and drop these files. We're going to first add the crease cut, then the CMYK, and finally the perf cut data. Now let's load the media to the LEC 330 printer. Load the media carefully. Lower the pinch roller. Then hit Setup. For creasing, we must replace the cutter blade with the creasing tool. To do this, click on left arrow button to retrieve the cutter carriage. Carefully remove the blade holder from the cutter carriage unit. Then replace it with the creasing tool. Tighten the brass thumb screw. Then hit setup on the printer's control panel. Now we're ready to release the job from VersaWorks. In order to not cause damage to the printed surface, the job should be processed in following order. Creasing job, color data job, and die cut job. Select the crease job and navigate to job settings to open the job settings window. You can also double click on the job in the queue. Under layout window, click on get media width, set the scaling or resize the job if necessary, set the number of copies, set any other layout options such as centering, spacing, orientation if necessary. Next, Set the following in a cut controls window. Under operation mode, select cut only. Check the option return to origin after cut. Check the option enable advanced settings and set the following parameters. Set cut passes to 1, speed to 5 centimeters per second, pressure 300 grams of force, and offset zero millimeter. Please note, if necessary, please adjust cut passes, speed, and pressure settings. Click OK to close job settings window. Now select the next job, the color data in VersaWorks. Double click on the job or navigate to job settings to open up the job settings window. In layout window, click on get media width. Remember to apply the exact same settings used for the crease job. Make sure the layout settings are identical on all three jobs or the jobs will not register correctly. Next, the quality window. Set the following in quality window. In media type, select generic. Select the desired print quality. Select the correct mode. Next, select the Cut Controls window and set the following. Select Print Only in Operation Mode. Check the option Return to Origin after Print. Then click OK to close Job Settings window. Now select the Die Cut or Perf Cut job and navigate to Job Settings or double click on the job itself to open the Job Settings window. Again, set the following in layout window. Click on Get Media Width and apply the exact same settings 
used for the other two jobs. Next, navigate to Cut Controls window. Under Operation Mode, select Cut Only. Check the option Enable Advanced Settings and set the following parameters. For cut passes, set it to 1. Speed, 10 cm per second. Pressure, 50 grams of force. Offset, 0 0.500 mm. As for the perforated cut controls, set the following parameters. For normal pressure length, we'll set it to 1 mm. For perforation length, 10 mm. For perforation pressure, for this example, we'll set it to 250 grams of force. Please note, if necessary, please do change the normal pressure length and perforation length. To determine the ideal pressure for perf cut pressure, please consult LEC user's manual on section 5-6. Then click OK to close out the job settings window. Now we're ready to release the job. We will release the job one job at a time. Select Crease Job, then click on Rip and Print. After the job has been released, LEC will perform the crease cut. And afterwards, it will return to the origin. Next, release the CMYK or the color job. LEC will then start to print the CMYK or the color data. After the print job, it will then return back to the origin again. Before we send out the next job, we must replace the creasing tool with the cutter blade. Lastly, we will release our die cut or perf cut job. After the die cut or perf cut job, remove the media from the LEC printer. You can now actually remove the print from the media itself and fold along the crease line. And this is what the final product looks like. You have just completed folding carton workflow working with Roland LEC printers and Roland VersaWorks. This concludes the tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us.